Good morning, folks. Down in chapter 4, verse 12 of Philippians, Paul says there, I know both how to be abased and how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. So Paul tells us how to have a right attitude, a proper mindset. Remember he said previously, don't worry. goes on to indicate that there are areas where worry might crop up, you know, financial areas. Some of us have those. But he learned to have a proper thought life, to be transformed by the renewed mind. So he's not just instructing us, it seems as he's taking his own uh, directives. This is trust-based living. It is developed as we see God's faithfulness time after time. It is not an easy mindset, let's face it. We all have times when that wolf is hauling outside of the door, right? We wonder where, where the supply is coming from, where's the next need coming from. But Paul has seen God get in through the dry times and the rich times. He's been hungry. And as he is writing to them, they can see he didn't starve to death. He said here, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry. He knew that Jesus never made that promise, you know, nothing but blue skies from now on. In his suffering of need, he learned to be thoughtful of the needs of others. In his times of plenty, he learned to be grateful to God, giving thanks to God in everything. I know he learned about others' needs because when he heard of the need of the Jerusalem church, when they were having a famine in the land, Paul got all his connections together to raise funds to help those people, so I know that. In a magazine called The Christian Evangelist, the story is told of a king who was suffering from a, a, a sick sickness, and he was advised by his astrologist to, you will be cured if you can find the shirt of a contented man and wear it. Well, people went out all over the kingdom looking around, and they finally found a man who was perfectly happy. Only one problem, he didn't have a shirt. <laughs> what are you learning in your time of need? What are you learning in your times of plenty? Does the experience in your times of need change your response in the times of plenty? Think about that, Pastor Steve.